Hey guys, welcome back to Project Bodybuilding. We are continuing with my Road to the Mr. Olympia series, and we are comparing two guys within last year's top three. In fact, we are going to be using our current Mr. Olympia in this comparison. That means Derek Lunsford will be in this comparison, and today he will be going up against the Nigerian Lion, Samson Dauda. Now, these guys went to head-to-head -head last year, and it was close between that entire top three, but Samson was still lagging behind first and second. But after the Olympia, he competed several times, bringing better versions each of those times than he did at the Mr. Olympia. So can Derek fend off Samson's recent version? his best versions? Let's jump to today's video to find out. For the version we'll be using for Derek, it's obvious that we're going to be using the 2023 Mr. Olympia. Now for Samson, I know he just competed at the Tsunami France Pro, and that definitely could have been his best version. There's a problem with using that, however. There are no official photos. There are a few floating around out there, but not for every pose, and they're not at very good angles. So we'll have to resort to another version, but this in no way, shape, or form handicaps Samson, because we are going to be using his 2024 Arnold UK version. Before France, or maybe even still to this day, depending on who you ask, this is or was Samson's best version, and it was certainly better than his Mr. Olympia version back in 2023. So let's see just how close Samson can get to the champ when Samson brings his best. Remember, if you guys like these types of videos, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more. First up, of course, we have the front double and two very impressive and aesthetic shots. In the quads, I do have to go with Samson though, he's just a little more separated. And keep in mind, this is Derek from the finals of the Mr. Olympia, which was better than the pre-judging, so I don't think I'm selling him short here. And Samson just isn't more separated in the quads, he's bigger too, and also a little more balanced top to bottom. Derek's top heavy and Samson is a little bottom heavy, but Samson's balance overall is better. Now in the torso, this is the main factor we have to look at, and I do have Derek here. Samson is definitely not bad, even though Derek is great in the torso heap, Samson does have everything. Most importantly, the lines. He has wide lats that taper into a small waist. Derek just takes that a small step beyond with an even smaller waist and even wider lats proportionally, and a deeper vacuum. Basically, has the more pronounced V shape. But we have one more area to look at, that being the arm department. I'm not thrilled with either guy, but I'm actually going to give the edge to Samson. Derek is small and blurry, and Samson's just a bit bigger. So even if he's blurry too, I'm going with him just because he's bringing the same thing, but larger. So overall, both guys are really leaning into the shape side of things, and it's good to see. But with that, it's very hard to nail down an objective answer because shape is so subjective. I see arguments for both guys. I think this is going to come down to personal opinions, so I'm just going to put mine here. I have Samson winning, and no, there really isn't any hard reasoning for this, really. It's completely my opinion, but again, I think that's what it comes down to. I prefer his balance, his upper body taper is still good, and his arms are better. Not to mention, he literally towers over Derek. And this is correct sizing. I sized them based on their 2023 Olympia picks, where they were literally side by side. Derek is this short. I honestly probably made him a little taller than he should be. But anyway, if I can get great shape with better balance from a guy that is much taller than the other guy, I'll take that. Now, because I am using my opinion here, this will be a narrow win for Samson. So for one to three point wins, I'm sticking him with the smallest one point margin here. And by the way, if I did have Derek winning here, it would also just be by one point. The front lag gets a little more decisive. All the things I said about Samson in the last pose apply here. He's more balanced, he has the better legs, he has a good torso heap, and instead of good arms here, the focus is on the lats, which are also good on Samson. Derek just gets held up by his own structure. The legs are blurry, the chest is really soft looking too, and where are the lats? I do think the arms are overpowering the lats to some extent, but also I just think they're not as good from the front as they are from the back. But of course, this awful lighting does not help Derek whatsoever. So a host of things hurt Derek's lats here, but with his other issues, and with Samson's lats being more prominent and his entire pose being better, I'm going with him as the winner yet again. And like I said, it's clearer than the last pose. Derek is getting the short end of the stick with that lighting, so I won't make it a clean sweep for Samson just because the jury is out on some aspects of Derek's pose, but there's more than enough going for Samson to make this a two-point win. The side chest is actually pretty close. Now, I do think this has a lot to do with Samson perhaps not getting the fairest shake here. He is facing and tilting away from the camera slightly, and I do think that hurts him just a little, and because it's so close, that does matter. For that reason, I have Derek in the chest, just going by what I can see. He looks like his pecs are a bit fuller, and neither of them have that much detail, so that fullness definitely matters. Derek's execution is definitely helping him a lot here for sure, but in the Armadale, I'd go with Samson because he has similar size to Derek, but just a tad more pop and separation. But Derek cleans up in the lower body. Samson is bigger and has okay cuts, but Derek takes this to a whole other level. The dryness and graininess to his leg is unreal. It's a shame that this shape doesn't translate to the upper body, but overall I do think Derek wins here just again based on what I can see. I think he wins the side leg no matter what the photo looks like for Samson, but with this photo Derek picks up the chest as well. I have to be honest, I don't really buy this. At a minimum it's close, but Samson is huge with some of the best picks in the world right now. I'll be cordial to brother Derek though, he's going to pick up a point win here. I could give Samson the benefit of the doubt, but I want to go by what I can see as much as I can.
Okay, now we have the rear double, and this may actually surprise some people. Does Derek win here? Let me get this out of the way. Yes, absolutely, but Samson brings a pretty decent pose. Now, Derek still wins in the back. It's a no-brainer. And the glutes are no contest. Derek also wins the hamstrings by a smaller amount, too. But Samson brings a pretty complete pose, so I don't know if I can give this to Derek by the full three-point margin. For one, Samson is laughably bigger overall. And again, this is how they looked on stage together, so no, I didn't misize them. But overall, Samson has decent hamstrings, and when he's on here, like he was at the Arnold UK, you can see a lot more detail present in his back. Now, it's nowhere as thick or dry as Derek's, but there is some good detail present in Samson's back. Overall, Samson brings a complete pose. Derek is still a bit overwhelming on some aspects, however, but three-point margins are really reserved when one guy literally has an insane pose or a pretty good pose, but the other guy falls off at the same time. Personally, I wouldn't make this a three-point win to tell you the truth. I'm going to, however, because I know what the consensus is going to be, and I'm sure there would be a lot more detail present on Derek if he just had better lighting. But if you asked me, solely my opinion, I would give this to Derek by two. But I'm going to try to represent everyone here and other factors like the lighting, so let's just make it three points. Next, we have the rear lat spread. You can see I included Samson's France Pro version of this one. I just had to because he always hits this different show to show, but this is definitely the way he should hit it from now on. And I imagine this is how he is going to hit it from now on. Now for scoring, I have to say I would still have Derek winning over both versions, but the margin definitely changes between both versions. For Derek versus Arnold UK Samson, I would say it's either a three pointer for Derek again, but probably a bit closer to two. Derek once again wins the lower body against both versions actually, and he has good width for how short he is. The major selling point though, for Derek was his back thickness. He makes Samson's back look flimsy. Samson's UK version had good detail compared to Derek's, but the lats aren't wide enough to counteract what Derek brings in terms of his own width and thickness. But again, with the France version, this is just barely a Derek win. In fact, the main factor for Derek prevailing over this version isn't even the back, it's the lower body. He still wins here, like I said earlier. He's just so much more shredded, especially in the glutes. But in the back, the posing change for Samson fixes a lot. For one, the lats just look a lot better. And that's kind of regardless of posing. I think his back was improved here. But with him, him just leaning back and spreading the lats more, he makes that lower back gap kind of go away. And the lats at their insertion points look thicker and they do throughout the entire back as well. So overall, his traps are more separated than Derek's. He's probably just as wide now and it is a little bit thicker than he used to be. But Derek still takes this because he's even thicker than France Samson, but also that lower body is just too much for Samson to overcome. It would be one thing if Samson straight up won the back but lost the lower body with this version. Maybe he could win with that, but there isn't a straightforward answer in the back, so I would give Derek the nod just by one point here. And for the overall scoring, I'm just going to average this together and give Derek a two-point win, bordering on just one point. Derek definitely beats the Arnold UK version, but barely beats the France Pro version, so I say we meet in the middle and just give Derek two points. Now we have the side tricep. Samson is usually not the strongest, but next to Derek, most guys end up looking better than they usually do in this pose. Samson is just kind of average to me. Just by himself, he has a solid enough side leg, could be sharper. The midsection is fine, but definitely could be more locked in. The pecs are full, and the tricep has some great size, but needs a touch more separation. Again, pretty average, all things considered. You can definitely look at this pose and see strong points, but things that also need to be fixed. But Derek looks way too soft throughout the upper body to win here. Keep in mind though, he is not soft on the side leg, quite the opposite. He He's taking Samson to school here, but that lead evaporates as soon as you look at the midsection. The lower stomach has some sag to it, I guess you can call it, and he's basically soft all over. Even Samson Dowd of all people has the better abs. This problem with Derek's midsection also extends to the pecs, where, like in a couple of other shots, he has that soft, doughy looking chest. Pecs kind of look droopy here and sad. <laughs> at least he ends this pose with a tricep that's more separated than Samson's, but overall, even with that in the side leg, the torso makes Derek DOA here. I don't even think it's a one point win, it's closer to three to be honest. I just could never have Derek winning here with this package. I'll make it just a two point win for Samson for Derek's side leg and the more separated tricep and I'm kind of being nice. Like I said, this could be a three point win for Samson and I'd be happy and I think that's still kind of being nice. Now we have the worst pose for each guy, the abs and thighs. Now I did include Derek's actual crunched ab shot, which he hit for like three seconds in this comparison round. Still though, he is borderline disqualified because we all know what he does. He does the vacuum and thighs, not the abs and thighs. That's not the pose. So if you don't do anything else, no oblique shot or just skip the abs and thighs entirely, I just skip the pose and reward three points to the competition. And that's basically what I'm going to do here. Now I'm not going to award Samson three points. I'm sticking with just two because his head on abs and thighs was really bad as well but the side oblique shot is better. I still have big issues with it though, like him having almost zero quad definition and some stomach roundness. But look at Derek. Even if you don't want to disqualify him and give him a fair shake in the shot, he still loses this anyways. Honestly, he'd be better off if he just got disqualified. He looks scared of his own pose. He is so lucky that Samson isn't doing this 100% right either, on top of having flaws in the shot. But let's be honest, a Mr. Olympia should not have a pose like this.
And finally, we have the most muscular, kind of a letdown to end this comparison with. They're both fine, they bring a ton of muscle, but the most important refinement aspects are missing. In terms of the quads, I do actually have Derek winning here for once. They look really big and more separated than Samson's now. Samson's are, of course, very solid though. He's not really a loser in this area. Then in the midsection, we have absolutely two stellar choices to pick from. Derek's abs are really shallow. Samson's pop out a bit more, but the stomach again has a little bit of roundness to it. So I would still pick him because of the better abs, but no one really wins. Now, now in terms of the arms and delts, I would give Derek both. Derek's arms are shorter, so they look more filled in bicep to tricep, and Samson's delts are somehow even softer than Derek's. Samson's are really weird, like they're glossy water balloons. To round this out though, I'd give Samson a narrow win in the chest just for a few more striations. Derek really isn't far behind here though with his finals version. So yeah, overall very lackluster. You can really just pick your favorite here, whoever's placed a little bit higher on the race to the bottom. Samson is bigger overall, kind of, because he's taller, but he also looks oddly narrow with this type of posing. Derek actually looks pretty wide here, but he also has the advantage of being short in that he looks more filled in per square inch. I can go back and forth on this shot, and I did. I ultimately decided on Samson just because he's bigger. How's that for reasoning? It's just a one-point win, though. Nothing to write home about. This round of judging consists of judging these guys' as whole physiques on four categories. Shape, muscularity, conditioning, and flaws. Let's get shape out of the way because there is no contest. They're tied. So I guess there is a contest. Anyway, shape is subjective, so if one guy doesn't outright win, I'm always hesitant to put anything in this category. Both guys had insane front shots but sucked in the abs and thighs pose, which are all poses that showcase aesthetics the most. Derek maybe had the more exaggerated X-frame, but Samson had better balance. This is really just personal preference, so I'm leaving it blank. Next, we have conditioning. Overall, Derek is getting a win here, but a smaller one than you may expect. He was more conditioned from the back and in the side leg, but from the front, especially in the upper body, Samson was the more conditioned guy. His conditioning was also probably a bit more even across his physique, actually. Sure, Derek had much sharper glutes and a couple of other areas with a clear conditioning advantage, but he had big problem areas too, like the quads from the front, in most poses at least, and the chest was really blurry. Not to mention the midsection was a train wreck. When you average everything together though, I'm going to give Derek a two-point win here. I initially had it at one, but I decided that Derek did enough and had enough areas and better conditioning to pull ahead just a bit more. Now, in terms of muscularity, Derek is maybe a little less lanky than Samson, but Samson is just so much bigger than Derek overall, especially with how much muscle Samson carries for his height. He had bigger legs, Derek had the bigger back, but Samson had the bigger body parts on average, and he was pretty complete as well. I think Derek is just muscular enough pound for pound to save himself from a two-point win for Samson here, so I'm just going to push it to one, but I'm not fully set on this one though. But finally, in terms of flaws, I'm actually giving Samson the win. He does have this gyno issue that is always present, and then some of his transitions to the stomach was let go. But Derek had the odd lats, if you get what I'm saying. He had the horns growing out of his glutes and some overall weirdness going on with the midsection, like in the abs and thighs and side tricep poses. I dislike Derek's flaws even more, but Samson definitely isn't flawless, so I'm just giving him the nod for my personal opinion with a small one point win. All right, now it's time to reveal the final scores, and this may shock some of you guys, but if you guys watch my channel and are aware that I am, in fact, the president of the Brother Derek Hate Club, you probably could have guessed this. I have Samson as the narrow winner today with him putting 54.8 points on the board to Derek's 45.2. And overall, that is a close victory for sure. And at this point, the little things matter, posing to lighting especially, and so on. But I 100% stand by this decision. It's not my prediction and probably won't be my final prediction, but if I were a judge, I'd vote for the Arnold UK Samson over the 2023 Mr. Olympia Derek. First off, take a look at the scorecard again. Derek won just three poses, and a lot of the time he's going to win about maybe four poses max. I could have maybe flipped the front double and maybe the most muscular, but I wouldn't be doing that very often. And I do feel that the side chest could have been flipped, but for Samson, I think he got gypped by the angle of his photo. What I'm trying to say is that Samson is more well-rounded in terms of the poses. Derek is all back, a little bit of striated glutes and vacuum. If you take that vacuum away, he loses every single front shot easily. And keep in mind, Samson has brought his back up to a very good level. I wouldn't have given Derek the rear double by three points if it was just a personal decision. I would have made it a solid two-pointer because Samson brought a good pose, same in the rear last spread. So even in Derek's strongest point, Samson is at least bringing something to the table. But forget about the poses for a second, and let's just take a look at the standard the judges are setting and what they say they want. Derek was not the most complete bodybuilder in 2023. Full stop. Hottie had more even stats across the board and more even development. Derek must have won because the judges liked to shape more, and although Hottie's wasn't bad, if that's what the judges are really waiting more, Derek is going to have the upper hand. Now, I completely disagree with this. I'm fine with shape mattering 
a bit more, but it can't be everything, and in my opinion, it wasn't enough to beat Hottie last year. But now we have Samson and Derek. Samson has that shape factor, just as much as Derek. Derek wins conditioning by a little bit, but Samson is taller, bigger overall, and more even across these poses. By the judges' own logic, this version of Samson should beat Derek. He has the shape and better poses overall, he won more poses, so if I was going by how the judges would do it, I would have Samson winning, and did have him winning before he broke this one down. But then I have him winning in my own system. In my own system, I think everything is represented pretty evenly, but there's just a slight more emphasis put on conditioning and muscularity. It's open bodybuilding after all. So on both metrics and both frames of mind, I have Samson reigning supreme here. If the biggest, most shredded guy isn't what the judges are after anymore, and they want shape first and then look at other things later, I'm picking Samson. And even if you want muscularity and conditioning and go by the poses, it's more narrow for sure, and Derek could probably win a lot of these scenarios, but I would still have Derek narrowly win per my own results. Basically, Derek fits no one standard. He doesn't fit the traditional bodybuilding standard, the one that had Flex Wheeler losing to Dorian in 93, and twice to Ronnie in 98 99, the standard where mass and conditioning come first. And he doesn't fit the modern theory either because people like Samson beat Derek at his own game. If you want shape and okay body parts and conditioning that only extends to half the body, there are certainly better options than Derek. But again, unfortunately, this is not what I'm predicting to happen as of right now. And it isn't really even based on how these guys look. If they gave it to Derek over Hottie last year, who was even more qualified to beat Derek last year, and did in my opinion, then they're not going to have Samson winning. Maybe they'll start a new rivalry with Samson in second and Derek in first. That would be good for marketing, I suppose, but I just don't see too many ways anyone could beat Derek. And it's clear that I couldn't disagree more with that, but I'm blackpilled on the whole thing. Derek will probably beat Samson and will probably win again. But if you ask me who I'm picking between this version of Samson and Derek, I would not be picking Brother Derek. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. I'm sure that rant at the end of the outcome of this comparison will stir the pot, but I'm here for it. Let me know who you have winning down in the comments, and go ahead and let me know who you think should be the standard for this new era of open bodybuilding. And if you guys like the video and want to see more, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to support the channel even further, be sure to head over to Arms Race Nutrition. Then at checkout, use my code PROJECT10 for 10% off your entire order. That's code PROJECT10 at armsracenutrition.com. And finally, with all that said, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Yeah.